Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Eternal. As you can see, I am a little bit in front from where we left off in the last episode. Also, this seems too dark. Um, but don't worry, I haven't done too much off camera. I just did a few things that uh, I thought was, yeah, a bit boring. Um, I made some iron armor just so we are a little bit more protected. Um, and an iron shield, which you make like that, just cobblestone and then iron. So that's cool. Um... The mod pack, by the way, got updated to 1.3.4, and I'm not going to read the entire change log. You can see that on the Chris Forge page, um, probably it's Twitch client, and also on MC Eternal's uh, Discord. So you can check that out. But a new mod was added, uh, which was Astral, or is Astral Sorcery. And I do know that mod, so that's cool. Um, and more quests have been added, apparently. So that is cool um, as well. Now, Here's actually one of the things that I wanted to do in this episode. Slash home allows for fast travel back to your cozy bed. Um, you can also do set home. And then home is set. And if I go up here and say I'm in a sticky situation or something, maybe. I guess that works there too. Then please stand still for a couple of seconds. And boom, you've been teleported back to your set home position. I'm going to set mine right here. Boom, home set. Sweet. Um, I got a few things that I want to do today. Um, I did make this backpack, but it was such a hard time to make it. And to be honest with you, I'm not that happy with it. <laughs> um, improved backpack, it takes tent leather and some string and a chest. Tent leather you make from bound leather, which you get like this. Um, and there's another, th another backpack type that I want, which is the satchel from thermal expansion. Recipe is a lot easier. Um, and also, I like it, plus stores and collects items can be secured, and it can enable auto-collect, so that's cool. So I think I want to make that today. Um, and that's why I have some tin. It is tin, right? Yeah, it is tin. Perfect. Uh, and then I need some leather. I know I have leather. I don't have enough leather, actually. Oh. Well, that just means I need to... I need to... Uh, well, then, I need to go and get a cow but that that enables me to show something in what direction was that actually whoa who hey buddy hey buddy hey buddy buddy hey buddy goodbye oh lumberjack pad i mean oh an intestine it's a skeleton slime ball of course and the lumberjack pack had acacia wood okay um, I did find a battle tower. I think it was in this, actually. I don't remember where it was. Uh, yeah. This way. Right. This way. Map. Uh, yes, right over here there's a um, battle tower. And I was thinking maybe we should raid it today. But there's a few other things on my to-do list that I think is going to be a little bit higher priority than that. But first, let me find a cow and let me get... Um, one more leather, and let's make that satchel, um, just because I think it will be a lot more convenient than the other one. The thing is, with the other one, it actually sits on your character, and you can't have a chest plate on it at the same time. At least, not in this slot. There might be some weird way of doing it, but I just like the satchel from Thermal Expansion, so I want to make it. And there is one of the battle towers, in fact. Um, do we have anything interesting? What? Where? Who are you? Again, that catfish is on dead rising. Um, okay. Loot bag. That book. Okay. That was creepy and random. But here's a cow. Whee! Sorry, cow. There we go. Sweet. Now we got enough leather. And yeah, there's the battle tower. But again, I think we'll hold off on that. Because, uh... Yeah, we got some more stuff that is more urgent, such as things like a tree farm, a dedicated tree farm, uh, because, yeah, just so I don't have to go and constantly chop random trees, and also a food farm, because, oh yeah, then there's that thing that I don't know what is, and I don't want to get hit by it, so I'm just going to run right past it. <laughs> I don't know what's there, and I'm not sure I want to deal with it because it seems mystical and magical, and that's usually dangerous. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that there. And food, 
is a bit of an issue. Food is a bit of an issue because of Pam's... Oh, there's actually hunger sounds. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, there's Pam's Harvest Craft. And Pam's Harvest Craft actually makes it so that normally cooked pork chop and steak and stuff like that is very good. But look down there at the at the box to the right of it. It's pretty bad. The reason for that is because you need to make something like... Well, a dish or a sandwich or something like that. And that requires ingredients like a... Uh, let's take... I know there is like a... Like a... Another thing. Hold on. Like a, a beet burger. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, well... You can make food with it. And uh, yeah, I think we want to set a farm up for that. But let's make that backpack first. We can make it right here. Boom. It's not that big, but we can actually upgrade it. Um, I don't know how. I think that is, I think this is how, and we can't upgrade it unless we get Invar, which we get um, from smelting Invar dust, Invar blend. Uh, let me go back a bit. Hold on. <laughs> Here, Invar. Then we go to smelting Invar blend, and we need pulverized iron and pulverized nickel to get it. And yeah, that's that's gonna be a while before we actually get set up with that. How do we get in what does? Small pile of in what does. Uh, okay, that's cool. But yeah, I think this is just gonna make uh, things a little bit better so I can keep stuff that I don't necessarily need but might use, such as stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep that there. Let me organize my inventory real quick and uh, we'll continue on my to-do list. All right, another thing that I actually want to make while I remember it is the sleeping mat, which is going to be handy if we're out um, and it turns nighttime and we don't have a bed. Sleeping mat basically allows you to just sleep uh, where you are. So I want to make that just to have it uh, red wool. Oh, does it have to be red wool now? Oh, that was convenient. <laughs> That was convenient. All right, there we go. And sleeping mat. Cool. Gonna open that up and put you in there. That's cool. Auto collect. I don't know if that works like that or not. That's fine. Um, okay, that was cool. That's another thing off my to-do list. Uh, hold on. All right, so I think, well, to figure out what kind of food we want, because... I'm thinking stuff like maybe sandwiches, is that a thing? Sandwiches, burger, if we take a look at like stuff like, well, let's see what we actually already have. If we have cooked pork chop and we look over here, what can we make? Something that is easy to make, such as like a sandwich or something that doesn't contain a hundred thousand ingredients would be nice. But also something that is stackable. And this seems pretty hard to do. Um, yeah. To be honest with you, I think I'm going to change the configuration for Pants House Craft to change these. Because I don't like it changing these. I just don't. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't. So I think a wood farm is up next. I did sleep, by the way, and when I slept, if you remember in the last episode, um, I touched some Thalmcraft crystals and I got this book, Strange Dreams, at the Strange Dream last night. You can read it if you want. I'm not going to read it out loud, and I'm going to take a closer look at it um, when I have the need for it, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, but let's sleep and let us see what kind of saplings I have. I have cypress sapling, I have plenty of spruce saplings, and I do want, um, I do, I do, I do want some other saplings as well, but I want some of these trees gone so I can actually see around here what I got, so I'm actually going to chop down a few of these, of course get a bunch of saplings out of it, and my axe just broke, <laughs> oh dear. Let's make a crafting table and let us get another stone axe. And maybe not vein mine the leaves. They are going to disappear by themselves. 
So I don't need to do that. Uh, maple wood. Oh, wait, what? Maple syrup? What can I use that for? I think I saw some sort of food recipe with it. Okay. Wait, a bakeware and that makes... Okay, that that's actually... That's actually not that good. All right. Let's get all of this stuff. I don't know what these are words for, used for. Silkworms. Eggs. Not the nicest thing, but uh, they're there. But yeah, let's chop down a few trees. And let's put up a dedicated place for tree growing. Also, I don't want it near any, like, caves or something, because that might hide the entrance. So, yeah, I don't know where I should put this, actually. I can tell you this much. I'm not going to stay... Here, like as my main base. I'm not gonna stay here because I don't really like the terrain that much. I mean, I like it, but eh, I wanna I wanna live somewhere else. <laughs> so that's just gonna be that. And I think I will have to do a bunch of terraforming in order to fit some sort of tree farm in here, which I'm not too fond of. The area doesn't have to be super big though, so I'm thinking like maybe right here. Just put some of this dirt back a bit. Maybe. And then place it right here. I could place it over there as well, but I don't feel like there's enough room. Plus, having it nearby is nice when you actually need it. So let me... What happens if I press... I mean, that could work. And then just fix what it... What it breaks. I mean, that... I pretty much done it. I just need to do it over there. Hold on. <laughs> Is this easier than I thought? Like it only—it doesn't take the dirt. It only takes the grass, which is great. So if I throw it over here. Oh wait, wrong button. Yeah. Oh yeah, it totally does. It totally works. <laughs> That's sweet. That just made my life a whole lot easier. All right. Now I just gotta fix this rest bit by hand. Yay for vein miner. <laughs> Alright, just gotta get this bit fixed out. And then we're just gonna plant a bunch of trees. So I do want... I do want oak wood as well, I think. Let me get, just get rid of this. Alright, I think that will work. And I actually think I got a little bit of an idea. And I think... Uh, what we're gonna do actually is... Did my axe broke? It did. Uh, I can't make a stone one. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll make a tree farm, but we'll also make a normal farm, like a crop farm, right up here. So that means I do need a bucket. I do not believe that I have another one on me or in there. Uh, I can't make another sort of wood bucket or something, so I need to be iron. Has to be iron, huh? It does indeed. All right, but let's get inside. Let's drop off some of the stuff. Um... Because yeah, I want I want to get not everything of this cooking, but mainly wheat. Mainly wheat I want growing. So let me just get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to need all of these saplings. Can I get... See, okay. Uh, can I get... Do I have... Okay, put dirt in here. I'm going to keep some of it. I'm going to bring some of the wood because we're going to need it. Put this here. Maple syrup is like a food thing, right? Yeah, it is. Let's put that in here. Still fiddling around in my own inventory management, but I uh, will get it sorted eventually. <laughs> Alright, I think this is good. Do I have any cobblestone left? No. Which means I need to go get some. So let me do this and I'll be right back. Alright, got my cobblestone and I think... So these trees, how do they grow? They grow like that, so one, two blocks out from where they grow usually. So how about if we... Maybe remove this tree right here. If we remove this one, like so, uh, <laughs> let me uh, get that before someone else freak, before someone freaks out that I just left it. Because I was going to, but now I didn't. So yay! I'm gonna put this sapling here, and I'm gonna put another one over here, actually here. Nope, here. They need like four spades in between, I think. And let's make a three. Let's make a three. And put one there and get rid of this tree as well. Get some open space. 
Sweet, it turns into night time, but we should be fine. We should be fine. And then I want these out here as well. So three, three, three. And do I have any bones, I wonder? I wonder if I have any bones. Let's try the sleeping mat. A portable bed, right click to toggle spawn point off. Uh, I don't think it puts. Ah, spawn point. Spawn. It says pause. Blah, blah, blah. Spawn point is off, and it has a durability. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, that was. That's nice. All right, cool. So that is the trees, and then I kind of want an area for crops. So if I extend this a bit, so we can have some more crops in here than just this, like so. Maybe. Yeah, that'll work. And then if I start just start fencing in a little area and basically just fill it with crops <laughs> that I want. Not that I don't need, but crops that I want. So for that, I'm going to need a hoe. Probably a few, but I'm going to take a hoe. What's this? Body part template. This. Okay. <laughs> Strange. And then I'm going to need a whole lot of fence. So I'm just going to convert all that wood because we have plenty of it, right? Going to make a bunch of sticks. And I do believe fence is like this, right? I do believe that I'm correct. I'm correct. All right. Do that. And boom. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's do that. And then, of course, we need a fence gate. Just to keep it nice. And then I'm gonna need to put the remaining uh, sticks in here. And oh I have three iron. Perfect. For a bottle for a for a bottle? No, for a bucket. For a bucket. Cool. That shouldn't be too hard then. And let's see, what else let me get rid of these saplings. Don't need them right now. Yeah, with lane miner it makes wood getting a lot easier. Uh, do we want anything from this? I could make traps. Uh, trap. Trap. I could make a trap from Ham's Housecraft. Ground trap. That is a thing I could make. Though it takes string and... Yeah. Okay, so let me see. I don't think I want any of this stuff. Because... Again, I'm probably going to change the recipes of... Like... Um, of Ham's Housecraft. Well, not the recipes themselves, but like that they change the the steak. So I think we will have to go on a little bit of a seed hunting, but that's fine. Let's get some water. Let's start fencing in a little bit of an area, starting from here. Yes, here, and going all the way. Oh, we could actually fence in the trees as well. Let's fence in the trees as well. Let's get the crafting table back over and let's fence in the trees just because that's going to look a lot better. There we go. And we can also do it in safety. So we'll put torches and everything around. So we should be good. Hopefully then I have enough fence. I should, right? No. All right. I'm thinking something like this and then the fence gate right there. We could make it even bigger, but I think this is going to do good. Do we have any paths? Uh, we do not. Grass path. Uh, I guess it still works with a shovel. Oh yeah, it does. Sweet. Perfect. Well, then we're going to make a small path from here all the way over to the trees and then down here. Like so. We're going to put torches before I forget on some of these corners. And we'll see how many we need when it's actually night time. So I'm just going to do this. There we go. And yes, that's going to happen. It's fine. I might extend it later. But I think that will be that. And then we just got to incorporate the water somehow. I'm thinking do this as well and then combine it like so. Normally I don't use these paths, but for this we are going to. Oh, I did leave a space here. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to change that up. Uh, then again, I need to. Yeah, I'll do that off camera. And then we basically just need to fix the earth. So it takes. Okay, well, three, 
for each. So it's actually just going to be a water source right there. That's going to reach all the way out here. Like so. That's nice. What was that? Worm. It's That was a quest? Was that a quest? Hold on. A quest. Farming and agriculture. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Sweet. Um, can we get this out by any chance? Because that's... That's going to be nicer. That's going to be very much nicer. Just to have that there. Sweet. I think we're literally going to leave it like, like that. Um, for now, anyway, until I get it extended. Yeah, I'll fix this. Don't worry. Let me fix it right now. Let's see how well Vein Miner works with fences. Oh, yes. I love Vein Miner. One of the best mods ever. <laughs> it's a great mod. I love it. I gotta love it. Oh, that's my torch. All right, so this is the result for now. We have the farm right here. They are actually growing, which is cool. And then we have this entrance leading over to the cave right here. Just thought that would be cool. Have it like that. And yeah, we're definitely going to take this down now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we just need some seeds. And I'm pretty sure I had some in here. Oh yeah, right here. Uh, there we go. Seeds and then... Innocent looking plant. Well, then it's not innocent now, is it? Pumpkin seeds? I don't think we're gonna get. Um, or are we? Pumpkin. What can that be used for? What can it be used for? Can it be used for anything good? I mean, it can. But I don't think we're gonna farm them right now. Because we need other stuff. So I think these are literally gonna be it. And there is a specific plant from uh, Housecraft that I want. So we are actually going to... Okay, you know what? This is actually stupid. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. But switch these two around. And just get this into grass. <laughs> Not sure why I didn't do that before. But okay. There we go. We could also have farm area over here actually. With something like melons or pumpkins along here. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna plant, I think, does real herb here, normal seeds here, a CD plates, and we're gonna use bone meal on them to grow them a little bit. So let me clean up my inventory. You didn't hear that, but I was... I'm so freaked out. And I don't know what... Yeah, you hear that? That has me freaked out. Okay. Uh, and I don't know where it is, if it's from the basement or what. I'm terrified right now. I am... T <sighs> I'm terrified, I'm terrified, I'm terrified. I don't know if it's outside or if it's in the actual basement thing. Uh, I'm terrified. <laughs> Uh, I'm so terrified. I don't know if it's outside. Do we have a bow? Good. Please tell me I have like a weapon. I'm just checking that just in case. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. How bad can it be? Uh, I need food. Need some form of food. It sounds. It comes from over there, definitely. You know what? Let's go. Where are you at? Come on out. I'm not scared of you. Where are you at? Ah, it's coming from the basement, isn't it? Oh, the cave. Let's check the cave first. Hey. Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't see anything so far. And I don't hear it. No mind, I do. Where is it? Is something on me? What's happening? This explodes if you open it, by the way. <laughs> that will explode. 
Where is this thing? Where is... I honestly don't know where it is. It's obviously not friendly. Where is it? It has to be in the dungeon staircase something. But it's also here. That's a weird thing. Does it follow me if I leave? Hold on. What's that? Compressor chests. Okay. Does it follow me if I leave? Nope. Sound has stopped. Well then, uh, that's... Uh, that's something to figure out now, isn't it? Okay. Let me try and get what I need. That gives me goosebumps, man. That's not okay. <laughs> okay, this is what I needed. The dude. Because this can give me strength. So, that's what I want. Just gonna see if I can get some more. I did. That's creepy. Thing is, I don't know what it is. And where it is. That's gonna be some serious work to figure that out. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go inside my home again, because I need bone meal. Maybe it's gone? Maybe. Are you gone? I think it might be gone. Maybe it despawned? I don't know. Uh, bone meal. Do I have bones? I do indeed. Just gotta expand the farm a little bit. If I get ambushed while I exit my, my house, I'm not gonna be happy. Uh, there's a thing about playing a mod pack. You never know what's gonna happen with you. Alright. Wheat. Boom, boom. I'm just going to trash this other stuff, actually. There we go. Go, don't want it, don't need it, don't care. Uh, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Just don't drop anything valuable in there. That's all I can say. I got one dude from that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. There we go, and pretty sure this is harvestable now. Yes, this also gives me string, just so I don't have to rely on spiders. <laughs> there we go. All right, um. That's the farm in progress and working. Except for the creepy part of it, but I mean, that's fine. The sound stopped, so I'll take that as a good sign. Or maybe I should take it as a bad, I'm not sure. Alright, so I'm just sitting here thinking what the next thing should be. And I think it should be... Um, a smeltery from Tinker's Construct, because that will allow us to, first of all, duplicate outputs of ores. It has to be manual, but it's good. Um, it's a start, anyway, to duplicate uh, ores, and also we can make custom tools and weapons and swords and other useful tools as well. So I think uh, this episode already is already 28 minutes, so I am going to cut it here, guys. I was considering continuing, but I think it's better to cut it here. Also, I'm creeped out. I need a break. <laughs> this uh, That sound creeped me out. Completely. Um, yeah, I'm not happy about that sound. I will have to go down into that dungeon and figure out what that is. Um, but yeah, I am going to cut it here, guys. And in the next episode, we will set up a Tinker's Construct Smeltery right here, I think. And uh, we will have to well gather all the materials to do this. And, uh, yeah, maybe some other stuff. So, yeah. Alright, guys, so just before I say my goodbyes here, I just want to say that this coming Saturday, a.k.a. Saturday the 7th at 6 p.m. UTC time, I will be live on my Twitch, cha on my Twitch channel with this world and this very mod pack where we're going to just explore the world, see what we can find, maybe do some mining and stuff like that. So be sure to join me if you can twitch.tv slash binary vigilante there's also a link down in the below in the description and you can also follow me on twitter and join my discord server to get notified when i go live and other news regarding live streaming and stuff like that 
I also stream other stuff out over on Twitch, so if you're interested, be sure to go ahead and follow me on there and enable the notifications. But anyways, I'm gonna let past me finish my outro. Hope to see you there again Saturday the 7th, 6 p.m. UTC time. You can also see my schedule on my Twitch channel. Anyways, back to past me. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I didn't enjoy that sound from the house, so... Hopefully it has despawned and won't show itself again. But anyways, if it does, we will be ready. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.